six hundreds of new laws go into effect today in Tennessee that will directly impact you and your family. The General Assembly passed many of the bills into law earlier this year. WREG's Alex Coleman talks one on one with two state lawmakers about the new legislation and the impact they will have on Memphis. In Tennessee, July 1st means the start of a new month and a long list of new laws that you'll now have to follow. But I think we got a, a good group of bills out this year that not only protect the citizens. As, as always, it's, it's a mixed bag. Uh, you know, we got some good stuff in there and we have some stuff in there that's not so good. Your news leader spoke with representatives Mark White and Jesse Chisholm about new gun laws and bail reform aimed at slowing down what some call the revolving door of criminals in and out of the judicial system. We, we have passed laws to hold them accountable. We just got to get our local judicial system to uh, enforce them. Even though there was some stuff in, in, in that bill that I didn't like, um, um, I still believe that uh, some of our hardened criminals, it could, do, it could uh, be a step to keep them off the streets. Another new law increases the penalty of drag racing to a felony offense, punishable by up to six years in prison and a fine up to $3,000. We did uh, strengthen the laws on drag racing. Uh, it is a bit more punitive now uh, for drag racing. You know, if a person's drag racing, they are endangering the lives of the rest of us, and we have these guys pass us every day on the streets, and so we have to have strong enforcement. One of the more controversial new laws allows teachers and staff to carry concealed handguns on public school grounds. We knew that our districts down here did not want it and would not implement it, but there are rural communities across our state that are 30 minutes away from the closest sheriff's office, and they had been asking for it, so we passed it for them. And to add the extra burden of arming teachers, making them be the security of the school as well, I think it's a, I think it's a bad thing. Representative Chisholm says he's proud of his bill that now requires the recordings of juvenile interrogations. Uh, that piece of legislation is going to protect both the both the youth in question as well as the law enforcement. As for Representative White, he hopes his bill turning the University of Memphis campus school into its own school district could be a model for teaching and learning for Memphis area schools. So we ask them to duplicate this high proficiency that they are they are doing for our city of Memphis. Reporting for your news leader in Memphis, Alex Coleman, WREG TV News Channel 3. A new month, new laws. And as for Tennessee lawmakers, they are in recess until the start of next legislative session.